Okay, we're moving on. Thank you. All right, I'll declare this meeting of the Executive Committee of the Central Otago District Council. Uh, there is one apology, and that is Councillor Gillespie. Um, I'll move that that apology be accepted, and someone else will second yeah. that. Thank you, Tamer. All those in favour? Aye. 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 Against, and that's carried. Um, I've now found my, well, I've found a copy of my agenda, not the one that I had my notes on, but we'll be right. Yeah. Declarations of interest, if folks can obviously remember their, um, their interests are not to have um, standing in any matter. Uh, I don't think this one would apply to that though. And we'll move on to our one matter before us today, the High Court Appeal and hand over to Louise, I imagine. Um, thank you. Uh, you've seen my very brief report, and I assume you've read that. This, this is basically around the um, decision of QLDC to appeal the decision of the Otago Regional Council on the freshwater planning instrument parts of the partially operative regional policy statement. Um, there's a couple of there's a couple of parts of this decision that I think will be of interest to you. The first being um, the change the change from what was notified shifts the wording from um, requiring discharges to be to land rather than preferring them to be to land subject to um, the wording around that. And the other matter is that under the National Policy Statement of Freshwater Management, there's a hierarchy of um, water um, around firstly the health of water, secondly the health of needs of people followed by other users. And what this decision does is it narrows the um, what is meant by the health needs of people, restricting it to drinking and swimming, and that can have impacts on consenting for wastewater treatment plants and also water allocations for council water supplies. So they're kind of the two things. And um, so you've got the opportunity to uh, join the appeal. Um, I've been in touch with our lawyer and we've just done this very quickly and we would have to um, put in an application to leave to join the appeal because we didn't actually submit or we weren't, we didn't appear in front of the freshwater panel. So we'd have to apply for leave, but um, Jane McDonald, our resource management lawyer, thinks we've got an opportunity to do that. We would need to put that in um, and then that would enable us to join the appeal and be um, have our voice heard with other territorial authorities. All right, thanks Louise. And just for members, the reason this is in front of the exec committee, we got uh, an email from Queenstown or staff did, Louise did on Friday, saying, hey, um, wouldn't mind some support. I, uh, Louise then mentioned it to me and my feeling is particularly with Iwi's, what we know of Iwi's feelings about discharge to water and also what Tamer and I heard at zone five and six, there is a political element to this that um, the decision that we make here today may have ramifications with Iwi, although if you read the actual, and I'm sure you have the documents, Iwi didn't ask for what exactly has come out of this. So I, I don't think the damage is major, but I just felt that it was important that there was governance oversight of this and not just leaving staff exposed to having that make that decision without us um, saying yes or no towards doing that. Now, people got, I've got some questions, but has anyone got questions for Louise? Okay, I do. Louise, what's the anticipated costs, firstly, of seeking leave to appeal and then if we do get that leave, are we going to have council in the room for a long appeal? Is it, does it actually go, since it's on law only, what are, what are we up for here? Uh, I don't know that, Tim. So what we've already um, got the leave application prepared. So that's a really quick one pager. That's yep. not a big piece of work. We can now decide how much energy we put into that in a discussion with our lawyer. Um, there's obviously other parties as well. So um, haven't haven't got to that yet, Tim. But I think it's as as big or small as we want it to be, really. Because mm, it would it would seem to me that you know as much as we can ride on QLDC's coattails, they weren't asking us for a contribution other than essentially the support of saying, "Hey, we're beside you on this," rather than getting somebody up to brief and and arguing the same arguments. Um, but look, I think that's more for you than us to worry about. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I had another couple of questions, um, probably more from a governance viewpoint. When the exec committee makes a decision, how does that get reported back to council? Wow. 
Money talks. Money talks. Money talks. Yeah, I I meant to ask it earlier on today, but I got sidetracked by other um, things. Uh, I look, it's not something that needs to be asked today. I, I guess the reason I ask is that you know if if there isn't a proper process, I wouldn't mind dropping an email to councillors today saying here's what we've done, and this isn't public excluded. So I don't think there's an issue in that. I just feel that we need to bring them up to speed why the haste and what we've done. Is there an objection to that happening? No. No. Probably good idea, really. Yeah. No, it's fine. Yeah, it sounds fine. It's fine. Cool. Um, the recommendation we have on page eight, uh, the fact that we have to get leave to appeal, I don't think we need to put that in there. Um, joining, it's, pr it's part of the process of joining, which is in that, um, in that uh, line at B, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. OK, all right. Um, questions, discussions, guys, or does somebody want to move A and B? I'm happy to move A and B, although okay. B. B, we need the decision there, which would the change. So do you want to have a chat about it first? So that would be agrees to join yep. as opposed to decides. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, OK. Yeah, good oh, point. Yeah. Agrees to join. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Someone want to second that? I'll okay. second it. Thank, right. Thanks, Sally. I think you were ahead by a nose. Um, <laughs> right, are any further discussion, team? No. Um, I would just highlight, I don't think we can afford, literally, not to. Um, be a part of this and my biggest concern is regardless of what we do currently the leaps and bounds that we are seeing within the technology space in terms of the quality of what you're discharging I think it would be irresponsible not to have that remain open as an option if you can literally drink it coming out of a wastewater treatment plant then the idea that that couldn't then go into a waterway um, I think yeah, when we see the costs of what it costs to change, I think we need to make sure that that remains an option for us, albeit not necessarily one that we would take. Yeah, I, I think it's so. I think um, what um, I did flick you an email last night, Tim, what was interesting yesterday, we got the feedback from Okahara around our proposal for Lake Rocks for Village wastewater treatment upgrade, where we were going to put a new treatment plant there with a disposal to land. And um, they've, they've said, no, they won't support that because the land we're disposing to is near the river. So it's not just discharges to river anymore, it's discharges to land beside river. And so the bar's not just going up to here, it's kind of going up to here. And I, I think we need to be able to keep the conversation open. Whereas if this went through, there's no further conversation able to be had. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't had a chance to look at that yet, but we're also finding and Tamer picked up on a decision of the uh, Waikato Regional Council supported by Waikato Iwi to let Cambridge's new wastewater treatment plant discharge to water with a 35 year consent. So yeah. there's conversations to come and if we don't say, hey, um, those conversations aren't going to be held. So I'm, I'm very comfortable with this. All right, well, yeah, any further? Yeah. Sorry. We do actually have a file where we've been recording all those um, media articles about discharges to the Waikato because it's not just Waipa, there's been mm. others as well. Yeah, it's it's. There's 110 million dollar, 110 million good reasons to be doing this, as I said. Um, right. And I've just got that decision up in front of me here as well, and note that it not only has the capacity to cope with the growth of Cambridge, but will meet meet much higher environmental standards. And yeah. I think that's the key thing here. We're not saying mm. let's pump crap into the river. We're yeah. saying technology is coming. That means that the impact of that may well be negligible and we, like Julie says, need to have that option open for Absolutely. at least conversations around it. Absolutely. All right. Um, any further discussion? All those in favour? Aye. 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 Against? Carried. The only other question I've got now that we have moved that, um, particularly for staff, any objection to my <clears throat> telling Gretchen Robertson maybe tomorrow that we've done this? I try to keep good communication lines open. Yeah, I agree, Tim. I um, flicked a message to Richard Saunders last night saying we were having this meeting and looking at this. 
Um, right. So yeah, absolutely no no problem with that. Sounds and good. That, in that case, I'll do that. Um, I'll ring Gretchen and I may drop an email to our three East Coast Runaka as well. Although, would Okaha be? I'm just trying to work my way through this. Um, I think I'll drop an email to the to to the three um, yeah. Iwi yeah. after I've told staff as well. Uh, yeah. You go to Runaka and we yeah, would well, go well. to Okaha. Yeah. Uh, we've actually ironically got Tamana Otoi training for the water team tomorrow with Okaha. Yeah. Oh, it's a great opportunity to get stuck right into it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it could have been yesterday, <laughs> not tomorrow. <laughs> Excellent. All right, well, I'll um, I'll drop an email to councillors now. I can include the paper. Hey, there's nothing in this is confidential, yeah. and um, and and I'll get in touch with um, OIC and governance at Ewe as well. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. See you later. Thanks, guys. See you later. Cheers. See ya. Bye. Bye.